everyone. This is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com bringing you a tropical update for today, July 17, 2011. We are talking about Typhoon Mayon. Typhoon Mayon is the warning number 25 from the JTWC for 1500 GMT. Position of our storm is at 25.2 degrees north, 133.8 degrees east. Location about 700 miles south-southwest of Tokyo, Japan. Movement 320 degrees northwest at 11 knots. The maximum winds inside the storm are at 100 knots, gusting to 120. And again, the threatened landmass is almost the entire area of Japan. Right now, according to the bulletin, states that Mayon is moving northwest and will recurve east just south of the main islands of Japan. The typhoon will regain some intensity over the next 48 hours and is expected to cross mainland Japan at 100 knots in intensity. Extra tropical transitioning will not commence until after passage over Japan. The Japanese uh, meteorological, meteorological Agency will carry warnings for those areas of Japan likely to be affected by Mayon and I'm going to bring in that information right now. As you see the warnings are in red for those areas in Japan and the warnings or advisories are in yellow. So those warnings that are in red I'm posting on the top of your screen. And again, those warnings are in red and the advisories are in yellow. We're taking a look at the path of the storm. The path is very uh, very much showing the same thing that we're talking about, that it's going to move northwest and continue to head straight into Japan. We'll watch the storm very close with you guys, and please stay tuned to Mr. Hurricane Tracker for the latest information. So again, with this uh, major storm system, this is going to be a very severe storm for Japan as it moves on to the islands. Of those areas and we'll continue to watch and see exactly what's going on in those locations and bring the latest information of what's happening as we go into the Atlantic Ocean and the Eastern Pacific we're seeing some activity and especially right now in areas uh, of the Atlantic Ocean showers and thunderstorms associated with a broad area of low pressure located about 125 miles east of Melbourne Florida have changed a little in organization over the past several hours development today the system is a has a medium chance of 40 percent of becoming a tropical depression so we'll continue to watch this little area right here by florida and see where it's going to be heading so stay tuned for that and also another system here in the eastern pacific that we are currently watching and this storm system is a various area of low pressure which is located about 225 miles south of el salvador and is producing widespread showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions are favorable for development as we have a 40% ch chance of this one also becoming a tropical depression. We'll continue to watch both storms here in the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific also. So again, for those of you watching, please stay tuned for the latest information, which is the breaking news right now is currently Typhoon Mayon. So thank you very much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and have a great day.